friends. This is a super quick and effective glute workout that's going to give you amazing results. In under 10 minutes, we're going to firm up and tone that entire backside. So if you guys are ready, grab your mat and let's do it. All right, friends, we're gonna get started today in an all fours position. So bring your hands forward. Your hips should be directly over top of your knees. Now to begin, we're going to first take your left leg, bring it all the way up with the knee bent. And then from here, you're gonna bring it to the right, cross it over, lift it up, lower next to the side. So again, we lift, cross, lift, and lower. Lift, cross it to the side, lift, and lower so when you cross you drop it down over top of that supported knee and then you lower next to the side so keep going really finding that power that strength lifting the leg from your glute your shoulders are staying square facing towards the front of your mat lift and lower keep going lift cross lift and next to the side staying with your breath here each time you lift and kick that leg Make sure you work from your glutes, so you want to keep your hips square. Great, lift it up now. Hold it here. Don't drop that leg. Keep lifting from the knee. Hips are square. And then extend the leg all the way back and pump it. Two, three, four. Little pumps. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. Ten, nine, eight. Keep going. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one one awesome bend the back knee again cross it over and this time you're gonna do a big circle around lift cross it to the back lift and circle lift cross it to the back lift and circle beautiful so keep going targeting different areas of your glute muscle here to really make sure that we're sculpting and toning your entire backside so lifting the booty as well as really defining and strengthening that area of the body. Good, keep going. Lift, cross it back. Lift and circle the knee around. Lift, cross, lift and circle forward. So think as if you're trying to get that back knee to touch that left shoulder in front of you. Now lift and hold. Next exercise, scorpion tail. Open and bring it in. Open and in. So just little small movement. Knee opens, bring it back to center. Open, center, open, center. So you don't need to worry about opening the knee too far out to the side. It's mostly about a gentle hip rotation and center. Open, center, open, center. Keep going. Recreating that tail of a scorpion. You got it. Now as your muscle starts to fatigue, do not let that knee drop below the horizontal line. Keep going last one now bring it back to center extend the leg back now just hold it for me you got this now you're going to start to really feel that burn we're almost done on this side you're going to give me 20 more pulses with that straight leg ready let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine you got ten more ten pump it nine eight keep those hips square six five four three two and one awesome bend the knee and sit back into your child's pose great job you guys slowly come back to neutral we're going right over to the other leg with no break so now right leg is going to come all the way up keep the knee bent you're going to cross it behind lift it back up and then just drop it to the center lift cross lift and lower lift cross lift and lower now try to touch that knee all the way down when you cross it to the back cross lift and lower so this is a great way to tone our entire backside without the use of any sort of props or equipment all we're using is our own resistance our own body weight 
and still getting incredible results in defining and really toning that entire backside lower body. Cross, lift, and lower. Now lift that knee back up and just hold it there for me. Breathing deeply, don't let that knee drop. And then from here, all you're gonna do is just extend that knee all the way back. And you're gonna hold it there and pump it for 20, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Keep going, 10 more, 10. Keep your hips exactly where they are. So you're just pumping from the glute, engaging your hamstring here as well. Last two and one. Awesome, hold it there. Bend the knee back in. Now we're gonna cross it back and then you're gonna bring it up and do a big circle outward to the side with that right knee. Lift it up, cross it to the back, lift and circle, lift, cross, lift and circle, lift, cross it back, lift and circle it around, lift, cross and circle, lift, cross it back and circle, Keep going. Make sure you're breathing through all of these exercises. Do not hold your breath. Work the movement with your breath, especially when it starts to get really tough and your muscles start to get fatigued. Breathe even deeper. You got this. Lift and circle. Bring it up. Now just hold it there for a second. Find your breath and we're going to go into our scorpion tail exercise. All right, so all you're gonna do is just take that right knee and just slightly turn it to the side and then back to center for one. Just a little open and side for two. So again, that side extension, you're not fully opening the knee to the side. It's just a little bit of a hip rotation and then back to center, open, center. So the movement is a little bit more minimal, but the burn and the work is really intense. So you got this guys, breathe through it with me and center open, center. The main challenge here is to not let your knee drop below that horizontal line. So keep it aligned with your back. Open, center, open, center. Last two and one. Awesome, you guys. Extend that leg. Keep your hips and shoulders square and give me 20 pumps. Up, two, lift it. Three, four, five, kick it. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10 more, 10, don't give up. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful work. Bend the knee, sit back over into your child's pose, stretch it out. Great job, you guys. We are almost done. I just got another exercise for you that's gonna really get into your glutes. And then we're gonna stretch it out. So just take a deep breath in in your child's pose. Exhale, let it go. Just catch your breath. Feel that nice stretch in the glutes. And then come on over into a full plank position. Tuck your toes under. Lift into plank, or if you want to modify, drop down to your elbows. And then from here, you're going to kick one leg up, bring it to plank, other leg up, and plank. Keep going. Kick and kick. Now, our challenge here is to stay in your plank position. Do not let your pelvis or your back arch or move too much. We're just working, again, from the glute muscles, firing up your shoulders, your core, and your lower body. And kick, plank, kick, plank, kick, plank. You're almost done. You got this, you guys. This is our last push. Breathe through it. Kick as high as you can from your glute. Don't arch your back when you kick though. Engage your core. Just kick the leg back and center. Back, center, back, center, back and center. Last few more times. Breathe through it. Push through it, you got it. And last two. And one, awesome guys, drop down to your knees and round out that spine into your child's pose. Beautiful work. Take a big exhale out and just reach over to one side. So stretching out one glute at a time, feeling that deeper stretch through the right side of your body. So reach your arms to the left and then reach your arms to the right or do vice versa, it doesn't matter. 
Just go over to the side so you allow one hip to drop a little bit lower, feeling that nice stretch through your glute muscles. And then come back to your child's pose. Take a deep breath in and then roll yourself up into your seated, reaching both arms up to the sky, stretch it out and exhale, hands to heart. Awesome work, you guys. Thanks so much for joining me on the mat for a lower body workout. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this class, you can help us out by subscribing to our channel. It is one simple click, it costs nothing, but it helps our content rise to the top.